Hello everyone, BurnerMods44 here, and it's happened. The channel has surpassed 44,000 subscribers. Wow. Like really, wow. It's really awesome to know that there's that many people who enjoy my thoughts or opinions and humor that I provide in my videos. But of course, I know some of you subscribe because my co-host Zidi in our A Brony Couple React series. I don't blame you, she's pretty freaking crazy sometimes. Trust me, I deal with it every day. Anyways, thank you all for sticking around and leaving some really interesting comments and opinions across my various uploads. Many of you point out a couple of things I missed in certain reactions, while some of you shared your take on a video that had an open-ended message in it. I love reading them because I get to see the various thought process of each of you. This channel is where it's at now, not just because of you, the viewer, but from all of the talented content creators from whom I've reacted to for nearly three years. I want to heavily, heavily emphasize that each and every one of them deserves more subscribers than they already have. Heck, there are several content creators I've checked out whose channel is much smaller than mine. That's crazy! They're busting their ass making their content, and it looks great! Yes, I take anywhere from 1 to 8 hours to edit a reaction depending on what the video is and what little additions I add to from time to time, but that pales in comparison to how long most of the videos I've reacted to took to make. This is the main reason why I'm making this video. This subscriber special is actually one giant thank you message. I'll be giving legitimate thanks and a little note to many content creators whom I've reacted to, as well as the wonderful viewers who sent in fan art. Please subscribe to the content creators I'm about to thank and give the people who made fan art for the channel a visit too. Many of them are very talented and post at least semi-regularly. Now with that said, let's start the thanking spree. Let's start off with the content creator thank yous. Edplus777 You have a ridiculous amount of content on your channel, yet it seems they're all good. I know that when reacting to your content I will be confused but qu quite entertained by whatever goes on in the video. With so many videos to view, your subscribers will have plenty of content to catch up on while waiting for your new uploads. So thank you for making your content. Ponyville Prank Calls Rustic Shine and the rest of the crew I actually talked with some of you a few times and even listened in on a couple live prank calls you did. While some are much better than others, the variety of ponies really helped spice up the pranking concept. I even gave them a, f a couple suggestions for prank calls that turned out well. The channel has been in inactive for months, but I heard that it may return. So thank you for your videos. Pymations I watched a couple of your videos before you started making L MLP ones, and even then, you were really good. In fact, Meet the Amazing Heavy was the first one I saw from you, and I nearly cried laughing back then. Mostly because it was I was more into TF2, so seeing lots of silly and random stuff happening just made me laugh. The crazy stuff you have going on in your videos were, and still are, a bit shocking at times, but still very entertaining. So thank you for your videos. Omega Ozone I'll be honest, I still sometimes go back and rewatch your two MLP Dungeons & Dragons videos. They were so well done in my opinion, and downright hilarious especially with the facial expressions like Angry Twilight. I don't think you're planning to ever do a third one, but if you do, I will be so happy and eager to check it out. So thank you for making videos. Minty Root While most of your videos are teasers or trailers, the few full animation videos that you have are pretty nice. What happens in them are sometimes a little confusing and require a little thought, but story writing is a learning process much like, much like anything else, so keep at it dude. I know you've been busting your butt on your current project for many months now, so hopefully it turns out as well as you envision it. So thank you for making videos. Toucan LDM Your videos are freaking hilarious. The way you write the ponies to act and how they stay in character a bit, but with some twists makes for some great moments like Pinkie Pie kidnapping Elsa to have her remove the snow. The various characters or series that meet the ponies are nice and diverse too. None really feel similar to ones from before, so it's always interesting to see what shenanigans happen next. So thank you for making videos. Agirl Channel Your videos are always interesting, 
Nine out of ten times, you don't even use VAs at all. You just use visuals to tell the story, yet you manage to do it so well that I actually am more than okay with the lack of voicing. I still struggle on deciding which of your videos are my favorite, Lyra's Gift or In Your Dream. Both are awesome. Thank you for making videos. The Inverted Shadow Shadow, the man who arguably has the str strangest series I've ever reacted to, The Elements of Insanity. Fitting title. Back when I checked out your content, I wasn't that big into SFM or Gmod videos, but your videos got me into them a fair bit, and I've even enjoyed some of your other videos, Luck of the Lyrish being a notable example. We actually eventually became good friends, and it's fun chatting and playing games with you. Even if you're a total troll when we play Left 4 Dead 2 by purposefully shooting all witches and car alarms. <sighs> uh, nevertheless, thank you for making videos. Disney Fanatic 2364 You were a bit of an interesting case for me. I somehow found your Bride of Discord story online and finished reading it less than a month before you started looking for VAs to make an audio version of it. I played a few minor roles in the series and met lots of interesting people on the team. I never reacted to it because I knew the story already, but I have been reacting to the sequel, Daughter of Discord, because I never read that story. Your stories are quite interesting and have a nice amount of interaction between so many characters. Also your series was one of the crucial points that led me to meeting ZD, so thanks for that. And also, thank you for making videos. Magpie Pony Your Princess Trixie Sparkle series was interesting for me. It admittedly started off a bit weak for me, though story-wise it did show a lot of promise. I got a ton of comments, even a couple from Magpie herself and Pegasus Pitch telling me that the series does improve a lot as the series goes on. They were right. It certainly got a bit better each episode, with 9 being an overwhelming success all around. And I'm still looking forward to episode 10 when it's released. Thank you for making videos. Derek Pony. Your animations tend to be based on comics, which is still pretty cool. They always turn out well done and you use a good variety of comics from different people. So you're able to bring all of those extra people some extra attention and that's great. I still say your animation on the web that binds has to be my favorite from you. Thank you for making content. Charred Knight. You only have a couple animations on your channel so far, but I really did enjoy your Pony Souls animation. I was eager for more from it because I was so interested in it. And it was your first upload too. It was a bit of an odd feeling that you were so grateful that I reacted to it, but I'm glad that you enjoyed my take on it. You even went and made an awesome piece of fan art for us. More on that when I thank the people who submitted fan art. Thank you for making content. Shades of Everfree. Ah yes, Shades. The man whom I commissioned for a short animation for a past subscriber special. That piece turned out just as I hoped it would. Shades also made some animations that I checked out that were really enjoyable. Vinyl Fair and Lavender is the New Black were easily my two favorites from you. Both looked very well done and had a good amount of humor mixed into it. And I really hope to see another great piece from you soon. Thanks for making videos. Donuts 1998 You blasted me to the past with the Dimensional Disharmony video of yours. The sprite styling and action moments reminded me of Alvin Earthworm with his Super Mario Bros. Z series that I absolutely loved back when I was in high school. Though it wasn't quite equal with Alvin's last episode, it was still very well done and I was super pumped for the next episode. Unfortunately, I know the series was cancelled. The story that you wrote didn't really work as well as you had hoped, but I know that you do plan to redo the story and I hope to see how it turns out. Thank you for making videos. Jacob Kitts One of the first MLP content creators I ever found before I even started reactions. Your videos were silly, funny, and awesome all at the same time. Now, they're still all of those things, but now they look much smoother and more well made. I've even checked out some of your non-MLP videos when not recording and thoroughly enjoyed what I saw. Your best Pokemon Trainer ever video had me rolling because of what happened in it. So thank you for making videos. AKD Animations Okay, so I know you're not into making animations as much as you used to anymore, but I really hope you can finish that game show episode you're working on. I found AKD from his impressive 
14 minute animation of the Achievement Hunter crew as ponies playing Survivor's Beta 3. Now I may be a little biased here because I actively watch Achievement Hunter, but that animation is really worth a watch. The facial expressions and movements of the pony players made it way more enjoyable than the original game session. AKD, I really hope that you can finish that game show episode because I am absolutely stoked to check it out. So thank you for making videos. Vincent Visions. I only checked out a couple videos from you, but I was very impressed from what I saw. The style you use is one I had never seen before and it really intrigued me. The Misadventures of Applejack the Vampire Slayer was a great, wacky adventure that reminded me of the old Looney Tune cartoons that I watched as a kid. Thank you for making videos. Ponies in Reverse I checked out your Sonic Dirt Boom video a couple years ago and was quite pleased with it. Since then I saw a couple more videos from you and I'm still impressed. Hopefully you will be able to continue more videos in the near future because they are all quite good and you deserve more attention. So thank you for making videos. Amanti Animations You are the only content creator so far that I react to along with ZD. You managed to capture her interest very much with the combination of MLP and Star Wars. Yes, she has a bit of a bias for that. The moment she saw it, that it had both of those in it, she was pumped to check it out with me. The two parts you released so far were pretty interesting, and we were both looking forward to the next one. So thank you for making videos. Oh Pony Boy. Admittedly, it's been a long time since I watched anything from you, so I'm not too sure what you're focusing on now. But a year or so ago, I found your channel and checked out a couple of your animations. There was a cute one, a silly one, and a mm, surprising one. But you surprised me when you asked me to check out one of your animations before it was released to the public. You put together a small reaction mashup for that animation, and I was honored that you picked me to be one of the people to do it. That derpy animation was short, silly, and pretty darn humorous. Shame it didn't get as much attention as some of your other videos you have. Hopefully things go well for you now and in the future, and thank you for making videos. Nightfall Studios You have only a few animations on your channel, but they're all great and definitely worth checking out. A cult classic was my favorite from you. Speaking of that, I recently watched your advertiser friendly version of it. I wore a stupid grin on my face when going through it. I didn't react to it because I was afraid it was going to be too similar to the original but it was still very enjoyable. Anyways, your stuff is great and I hope you're able to stay in the swing of things and continue pushing out some great videos soon. And thank you for making videos. Hero Strain. You haven't done much MLP stuff in several months, but that's fine because I've been checking out a couple of your older videos. Even ones from over a year ago still look very impressive. All of the action from Out of the Frying Pan video was eye candy to me and I was a bit sad when it was over because I wanted to watch it like a full blown movie. That was the newest MLP video from you I had checked out, but if you release, if and when you release a new one, I will be more than happy to see how it looks with another year of experience on top of the high quality that you had before. So thank you for making videos. Dragon Prophecy Studios you were one of the dozen or so channels I've reacted to that I found on my own just from browsing YouTube. I was very surprised to see that you were making a series using the OC Snowdrop from Silly Philly Studios. The story is still in progress, but I'm still interested in learning what's going on in that series of yours. It's pretty interesting to see the different personality of Snowdrop compared to what we saw from Silly Philly Studios. Hope to see an update or even the full video for part 3 of the series soon. And thank you for making videos. Deadly Comics I watched that Cup of Dirt and I Before E videos of yours without recording a reaction to them and man do I wish I had recorded it. I was in literal tears from those videos from laughing so hard. The way you portrayed those stories made the whole thing so much better. You posted Boxing over a month ago and that was hilarious as well. It also got me to look up the comedian in those videos. I listened to an hour long stand up session of his while I was at work a few weeks ago. I confused a few co-workers when I was lifting 150 pounds of metal and suddenly laughing like crazy. I gotta remember to find a few more sessions from him. Hopefully you try to use other comedians in the future animations. And thank you for making videos. 
Now it's on to the wonderful viewers who made fan art for the channel. If I miss anyone, I'm sorry, but I may not have found your fan art. Sneasel Freezy 12120. This piece was actually my first bit of fan art that I had ever received. The feeling of getting this was overwhelming. In fact, every piece of fan art I've ever gotten has given me a huge smile. Thank you for making this. Songheart13. Your piece reminded me of Doge, and that made me laugh when I saw it. The style was very interesting looking as well. Thank you for making this. Everlasting Lost Dream. The background actually caught my eye at first when I saw this, because it was the first piece that, with one in it. It still looked good even though ponies aren't your normal style. Thank you for making this. Stayed Opossum. That freaking face. Seriously, I must have laughed I must have laughed for a good few minutes after seeing that. In fact, I actually laughed at it again when gathering the pictures for this video. You also made a little happy birthday picture for me, and that was a very nice thing to see that day. So thank you for making these. Creepy Pasta Fran. You made multiple pieces of fan art, and you managed to capture me and Z's characteristics appropriately in each of them. In fact, the squishy picture is something that she has done before. I kid you not, she has actually done that. So thank you for making these fan art pictures. The Brony Galaxy. I know your channel is deactivated now, but I still get to thank you for sending this cute piece. Me kindly giving my heart to ZD was a very cute thing to see. And ZD's response when I showed it to her was, Aww. So thank you for making that. Red Valentinos. Your fan art had actual dialogue in it that was quite humorous. It was an interesting idea and it turned out well to me. So thank you for making your piece. Ember Dreamer 122. Nuzzle Ponies! Another cute little piece with me and ZD. I'm glad people started enjoying her to, and adding her to more fan art pieces. It shows that people really do actually enjoy her in our Abroni Couple series. So thank you for making fan art. Zelda Freak 159. Okay, one, adorable hugs are magic. Two, your style is really good looking. That is all I need to say. Thank you for making fan art. Cosmic Painter Cat. This is a very colorful piece since it uses the coloring from my cutie mark for the background. All of the colors help make it look pretty. So thank you for making fan art. Gulty. Holy crap. You are really talented. I really like seeing our OCs giving very accurate reactions to whatever it is that we're looking at on the screen. I'm pretty sure that we make these facial expressions a lot when we check out the episodes, so thank you for making this fan art piece. VCM1824 We were already friends and co-workers from Brad of Discord, so I was pretty surprised when you recently sent this piece of fan art to me. It was absolutely adorable, and it's actually my current wallpaper on my computer. So thank you for, for sending fan art. Nightstar you messaged me this acrylic painting to me back when it was only in progress, and that shocked me. It had already looked finished at that point, but the finished version looks even better. And the fact that you literally painted this is crazy awesome. Thank you for making this. Detendo Brony. I'm not sure what it is that you used to make your two pieces of fan art that you submitted. Your second video that you recently posted it looks like you used the stylus from a 3DS, but I'm not entirely sure. But, either way, they are really cute looking and I'm glad that you still showed a little bit of how it was made. To be honest, I kind of think that's pretty cool when artists do that, rather than just show the whole piece. I kind of like seeing how it was made from start. So thank you for making fan art. Rainbow Firebeats. I'm literally just a floating head, and yet I'm so doggone happy. I couldn't help but laugh when I saw that. So thank you for making this. Star Hedgehog 1195. This piece is pretty darn cool looking. 
Again, I'm just a floating head here, but I'm still, I'm actually super serious looking here, and that's cool. So thank you for making this. Nightwalker Dakota. You sent in one of me with a rose looking like I'm fancy or something. As well as one with me in your OC at Royal Guards, with Z fangirling in the background. Her bit added some humor to a pretty cool looking picture. And thank you for making both those pictures. Joka Boy. Your style was pretty unique to me, and I really like that you used the colors of the opposite pony in their backgrounds. For some reason, that part really stuck out to me in a really good way. So thank you for making fan art. Fuzzy Fuzzball 109. I am crazy tall looking in this piece, and I also look a bit posh in this too. It was an interesting combination, so thank you for making fan art. Unicorn 3600. A mostly humanized version of me and Z's OCs. It was actually pretty cute looking with Z being held up like that. The my OTP message in the corner was pretty hilarious too. So thank you for making fan art. KC223. I don't know what it is, but pony boobs are kind of cute too. Me and Z may have booped each other a few times for real. We're silly and we know it. But to be honest, don't we all just love it? Thank you for making fan art. Pegasister18. Your piece was pretty good looking, but the main thing that I liked was that you actually showed me how you made the picture. Yes, I actually watched that, and it was actually pretty neat to see. So thank you for making fan art. The Ceratops. I said it before and I'll say it again, cute hugs are magic. The small text you had on top of the picture had me rolling again. <laughs> I really enjoyed those messages. <laughs> Thank you for making fan art. Moonshadow Luna. I noticed that several people used crayon to draw their fan art, and yet they still look good. The hoof bump picture with me and ZD was really well done, especially with crayon. Thank you for making fan art. Brony Crystal. I really like it when I see fan art that really captures our characteristics well. This one has me slowly eyeing a good looking milkshake while Z is already devouring it. This would totally happen. I kid you not. In fact, if me and Z go for milkshakes anytime soon, I would wager that she would do this in an instant. Anyways, thank you for making fan art. XX marking XX. Yes, I'm gonna read out the X's. <laughs> You're another person I've known for a while, and you're another really, really talented artist. Your piece of me as an Absol from Pokemon looks badass. And I love how it still actually has the Scouter on him. <laughs> so thank you for making fan art. Yumi Art. Another good looking piece that brings in the doll. Several friends actually told me that they really thought it was cute looking too. Because for a while I actually had it as a profile picture, and they liked it a lot. So thank you for making fan art. Jason Livesay. I hope I'm saying your name right. You sent in a few pieces of fan art that looked pretty neat, but the one with me as Ryolu and Z as Buneri was my favorite amongst them. They're the Pokemon I'd say we were both like as kids. By now we're totally there of all forms, Lucario and Lopunny. But this was still really cool to see, so thank you for making fan art. Balserification. I really like your style. It's really smooth and your piece has me and Z. And we're both just checking out all the stars, which is something we've totally talked about doing on a nice night. I remember you saying you were thinking of doing a follow up picture of this. I look forward to seeing that soon, hopefully. Thank you for making fan art. Toontown Joy. I don't see enough pictures with unicorns actively using their magic, so the fact mine is using in it to levitate up with a flying Z is pretty cool. We're also pretty doggone happy in this too, so thank you for making fan art. Alagi. This piece was really different in that we're not 
ponies, but also not humans either. Yet I still think we look pretty dang cute in it. Your style was really cool looking too. Thank you for making fan art. Charred Knight. I told you I'd get back to you. Your piece was a freaking animation, and an adorable one at that. When Z showed me this, I practically had to restart my brain. That's how much it shocked me, in a good way. Thank you for making fan art. And ZD. Of course, how can we forget about the co-host herself? Z made a few pieces for the channel that look very well done and are doggone cute. Be careful though, some may cause the HUNDS! I know that I didn't name everyone who deserves a proper thank you, but unfortunately the list is too long for me to keep track of. So if you're watching this, thank you. Sincerely, thank you. This, this whole thing is great just being able to share my thoughts and opinions on great videos with all of you. And I'm glad that you enjoyed my take on them. I know this was a bit different than something like a Q&A, but I've been wanting to sincerely thank all of you for a while now, and this was how I could best think to do it. For now though, that's going to be it. So until next time everybody, this is BrotherMouse44 saying, see you guys later.